Hello there. Hope you are doing well. So here there is a passage and on the basis of the passage, uh, we have uh, another question. Uh, look at the question. What does it ask? It asks about which of the following best describes a logical flaw in the author's argument in the passage. So it describes a logical flaw. So flaw means indicating about fallacy or you can talk about fallacy or you can talk about error, error of the judgment, isn't it? So error in the author's argument in the passage. Well, we understood that what this passage is all about. This is a philosophical based passage, um, completely indicating about uh, a situation where you find out your friend's uh, father has passed away and you love this friend and their father immensely. So, and at the same time, your friend who have a kind of a belief in the Christian afterlife, uh, that's what you would find out. And uh, there is a conflict in his belief with your wisdom, right? So, uh, and to wisdom on what? Uh, wisdom on necessary to deal with the loss and give advice and consolation. But your friend needs neither of this. So they are sure that they are the, their father has passed into a better place and are simply thankful that he has gone home to be with God. At least that's what they say. But you can tell that underneath the vineyard, they are profoundly grief-stricken or called as a uh, very sad. To complicate the situation further, imagine that you are, a, you are white and identify with your sex at birth while your friend uh, is black and non-binary. For them, the church has uh, has been welcoming through their transition. And it is the only institution in this world that they trust, given how often they have been harassed at the hands of state institutions like uh, the policy. Now, this is what nothing but a kind of a part of the idea and which, uh, which is nothing but indicating the main theme of the text, uh, giving the this particular story. Uh, or example in the form. So at the end also it is pointed about have you actually learned anything about how to live well and what text or stories could possibly have taught you to prepare for this moment. Surprising uh, as it may seem classic wisdom text have in fact much to help you understand this situation. This situation means the situation which have been given in the penultimate paragraph about his friend's father who has passed away. You just have not been taught to see them that way. So now look into the um, logical flaw in the author's argument. So which one could be the man's appropriate option that will create the author's argument prove wrong? Now look into the first option. The first option says the author's dedication to wisdom is misplaced in a situation involving religious beliefs. Second option says that the author contradicts themselves by saying they practice mindfulness but are enraged. So third is stated the author's anger at their friend's belief is inconsistent with their dedication to wisdom. And the fourth one, uh, the author falls to consider the role of empathy in their own practice of wisdom. Now, Look into the first option. The first option says the author, the dedication to wisdom is misplaced in a situation involving religious belief. Now, if I uh, look at the option one or verify the option one, that doesn't suggest that the author's dedication to wisdom is misplaced, but rather that it is nothing but a kind of a challenged. Isn't it? Challenged. So if I look into the option two, option two is indicating about uh, the author's author experiences anger. The passage actually doesn't uh, directly state that practicing mindfulness, practicing, practicing mindfulness, mindfulness, practicing mindfulness contradicts this emotion, contradicts this emotion. So, if I observe this uh, first and second option, so what I could find out, the option one and two doesn't make any of the flaw 
to the author's argument. So these two options are eliminated. Now look into the option three. What does option three states? The author's anger at their friend's belief is inconsistent, not regular, irregular with their dedication to wisdom. So which is known as a correctly identifies the logical flaw uh, in the author's argument. The author's anger at their friend's belief is presented as inconsistent with their dedication to wisdom. So uh, this could be called as an appropriate uh, answer option to the um, question which is uh, stated above. Now, look into the option four. Option four is stated the author falls to consider the role of empathy in their own practice of wisdom. So, uh, if I uh, read the text uh, thoroughly, then I could find out the passage does not explicitly state that the author neglects empathy. The author doesn't neglect, uh, or the author doesn't neglect the means uh, neglect empathy, right? In, in fact, the passage mentions what. Uh, the passage uh, mentions the importance of empathy when trying to bridge the gap between different beliefs. So on the basis of that, if I talk about uh, option three, which will be most appropriate to this context. Uh, now, if I elaborate the option three, what does it try to say that? Now, it points out the logical flaw in the author's argument by presenting what the author's anger at the friend's beliefs. So, which is irregular with their dedication to wisdom. So, and that's indicating logical inconsistency, isn't it? And that's what is known as a logical flaw. Author's anger at their friend's belief is inconsistent. It means, you know, which is not consistent as for the means of wisdom, right? So, it would be known as a what? Inconsistency in their thinking, indicating a logical inconsistency in their thinking. So therefore, it would be known as a most appropriate answer to the, um, to the question. So hence, we can draw that option three would be the most appropriate to the answer, right?